Good evening and welcome to our service of Compline on this Monday, July 6th. The sun has just come out in terrace and the clouds have parted and it looks like we will have a glorious sunset for the end of the day. Which is when a sunset comes, actually. Our worship this evening is on the traditional and unceded territory of the Shimsham people. I am David Lehman, Bishop of Caledonia, and invite you to join me on page 722 of the Book of Common Prayer as we say together the service of Compline. As we are in God's presence after a long day, let us be still and be in God's presence and know that we are surrounded by grace, mercy, and love. The Lord Almighty grant us a quiet night and a perfect end. Amen. O God, make speed to save us. O Lord, make haste to help us. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Ghost. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Praise ye the Lord. The Lord's name be praised. Our psalm for this evening is a portion of Psalm 31, found on page 364. Psalm 31, page 364. We shall say verses 1 through 6 together. In thee, O Lord, have I put my trust. Let me, let me never be put to confusion. Deliver me in thy righteousness. Bow down thy ear to me. Make haste to deliver me. Be thou my strong rock and house of defence, that thou mayest save me. Thou art my strong rock and my castle. Be thou also my guide, and lead me for thy name's sake. Draw me out of the net that they have hidden for me, for thou art my strength. Into thy hands I commend my spirit, for thou hast redeemed me, O Lord, thou God of truth. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Ghost, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Our Gospel reading for this evening comes from the Gospel of Matthew, beginning in the 23rd chapter, at the first verse. Then Jesus said to the crowds and to his disciples, The scribes and the Pharisees sit on Moses' seat. Therefore, do whatever they teach you, and follow it. But do not do as they do, for they do not practice what they teach. They tie up heavy burdens hard to bear, and lay them on the shoulders of others. But they themselves are unwilling to lift a finger to move them. They do all their deeds to be seen by others, for they make their, their philanthropies broad and their fringes long. They long to have a place of honor at banquets and the best seats in the synagogues and to be greeted with respect in the marketplaces and to have people call them rabbi. But you are not able to, but you are not to be called rabbi for you have one teacher and you are to be all students and call no one your father on earth for you have one father, the one in heaven. Nor are you to call, be called instructors, for you have one instructor, the Messiah. The greatest among you will be your servant. All who exalt themselves will be humbled, and all who humble themselves will be exalted. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. We continue on page 723. Into thy hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. Into thy hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. For thou hast redeemed me, O Lord, thou God of truth. I commend my spirit. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Ghost. Into thy hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. We say together the Te Lucta Sante Terminum. Before the ending of the day, Creator of the world, we pray, that with thy wanted favour thou, 
wouldst be our guard and keeper now. From all ill dreams defend our eyes, from nightly fears and fantasies. Tread underfoot our ghostly foe, that no pollution we may know. O Father, that we ask be done, through Jesus Christ, thine only Son, who with the Holy Ghost and thee doth live and reign eternally. Amen. Keep us as the apple of an eye, hide us under the shadow of thy wings. Preserve us, O Lord, waking, and guard us sleeping, that awake we may watch with Christ, and asleep we may rest in peace. We say together the Nunc Dimittis. Lord, now let us thou thy servant depart in peace, according to thy word. For mine eyes have seen thy salvation, which thou hast prepared before the face of all people, to be a light to lighten the nations, and to be the glory of thy people Israel. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Ghost, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Preserve us, O Lord, waking, and guard us sleeping, that awake we may watch with Christ, and asleep we may rest in peace. We say together the Apostles' Creed as we confess our faith. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Ghost, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, dead and buried. He descended into hell. The third day he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and sitteth at the right hand of God the Father Almighty. From thence he shall come to judge the quick and the dead. I believe in the Holy Ghost, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. Let us pray. Lord, have mercy upon us. Christ, have mercy upon us. Lord, have mercy upon us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive them that trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Blessed art thou, Lord God of our ancestors, to be praised and glorified above all forever. Let us bless the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost. Let us praise him and magnify him forever. Blessed art thou, Lord, in the firmament of heaven, to be praised and glorified above all forever. The Almighty and most merciful Lord guard us and give us his blessing. Amen. On the top of page 726, let us confess our sins against God and our neighbor as we say together. We confess to God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost, that we have sinned in thought, word, and deed through our own grievous fault. Wherefore we pray God to have mercy upon us. Almighty God, have mercy upon us. Forgive us all our sins and deliver us from all evil. Confirm and strengthen us in all goodness and bring us to life everlasting. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. May the Almighty and merciful Lord grant unto you pardon and remission of all your sins, time for amendment of life, and the grace and comfort of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Will thou not turn again and quicken us, that thy people may re rejoice in thee? O Lord, show thy mercy upon us, and grant us thy salvation. Vouchsafe, O Lord, to keep us this night without sin. O Lord, have mercy upon us, have mercy upon us. O Lord, hear our prayer, and let our cry the collect for this week. O God, the protector of all who that trust in thee, without whom nothing is strong, nothing is holy. Increase and multiply upon us thy mercy, 
that thou being our ruler and guide, we may so pass through things temporal, that we finally lose not the things eternal. Grant this, O Heavenly Father, for Jesus Christ our Lord's sake. Amen. Lighten our darkness, we beseech thee, O Lord, and by thy great mercy defend us from all perils and dangers of this night. For the love of thy only Son, our Saviour, Jesus Christ. Amen. Look down, O Lord, from thy heavenly throne. Illuminate the darkness of this night with thy celestial brightness. And from the children of light, banish the deeds of darkness. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Be present, O merciful God, and protect us through the silent hours of this night so that we who are wearied by the changes and chance of this fleeting world may repose upon thy eternal changelessness. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. I invite you to lift up before God those prayers and concerns on your hearts and minds this night, either naming them aloud, joining, uh, allowing us to join in with you by sharing them in the comments box, or sharing them with God in your heart. This night, as we do every night, we pray for those suffering from the coronavirus pandemic, for those who are sick at home, in hospital, in the IC units, here in BC, around the, and around the world, for those other patients who and people seeking medical care, needing treatments, procedures, and surgeries, and for the medical staff that care for all, that people may be led to wholeness and healing and the staff may be kept safe. We pray for all who suffer from addictions and mental health issues, for counselors, social workers, uh, for all those who minister to them and to the homeless and to the needy that we may be inspired to continually support, encourage, and uphold everyone. We pray for the communities that are under evacuation alert or those who have been evacuated, for the families whose houses have been flooded in BC, for those uh, under uh, threat around Canada, it seems, almost daily, Praying for the people of Peace River who are under a flood advisory for the second time this year. And for all who uh, are battling um, and, and working to keep people safe. We pray for those who had to evacuate and, and where they're staying, that everyone may be kept safe and, and well physically distanced. As everything begins to open up a bit further as we go by, that people remember to keep physically distant, that there is still a dreaded disease out there that we can, you know, come in contact with and not know it. Think of the five people in PEI and for those who are suffering and struggling there after over two months without a case. We can rejoice with Ontario having gone a day without a death and for the families that have been spared uh, the pain and loss. We pray for those who are in bereavement at this time, those who are not able to publicly mourn as they would and for those who are not able to honour their dead as they, as they are accustomed to. We pray for all who are grieving all the many losses that we are seeing at this time. Friends, family, loved ones, work, uh, habits, rituals, uh, all the various aspects of life that we're not able to engage in at this time. So we pray with the, for them. We pray for all who are anxious in this time, for those who are living with uh, fears of how they can go out and interact in the world with compromised immune systems when people seem to be taking things rather lightly. And so we pray for all these people and for those who you've added in, your, in the prayers this night. 
as we say this intercession. Be mindful, Lord, of thy people gathered before thee. Care for the infants. Guide the young. Support the aged. Encourage the faint-hearted. Collect the scattered. And bring the wandering to thy fold. Travel with the voyagers. Defend the widows. Shield the orphans. Deliver the captives. Heal the sick. Succor all who are in tribulation, necessity, anxiety, or distress. Remember for good all those that love us and those that hate us, and those that have desired us and worthy as we are to pray for them. And those whom we have forgotten, do thou, O Lord, remember. For thou art the helper of the helpless, the savior of the lost, the refuge of the wanderer, the healer of the sick. Thou who knowest each one's need and hast heard the prayers, Grant unto each according to thy merciful loving kindness and thy eternal love. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. We encourage you now to lift up aloud or in the comment section or in your hearts those blessings and thanksgivings that you have from this day. To see a patch of blue sky out there today is quite lovely at this, even at this hour. For those uh, who faithfully and diligently minister to families at this time and try to share the faith and, the st and our story, especially with children. Things that I'm thankful for this day. We offer this thanksgiving. O most merciful Father, we humbly thank thee for all thy gifts so freely bestowed upon us, for life and health and safety, for power to work and leisure to rest, for all that is beautiful in creation and in the lives of men and women, we praise and magnify thy holy name. But above all, we thank thee for our spiritual mercies in Christ Jesus our Lord, for the means of grace and for the hope of glory. Fill our hearts with all joy and peace and believing, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. We return to the bottom page 727. We will lay us down in peace and take our rest. For it is in thou Lord only that we that pardon me, for it is thou Lord only that makes us dwell in safety. The Lord be with you and with thy spirit. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Almighty and merciful Lord, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, bless and preserve us this night and indeed forevermore. Amen. Thank you for joining me. Sorry again for the mix-ups and the confusion. The headache just won't leave me alone, so praying tomorrow is a better day. Um, tomorrow, please join us at 8 a.m. out at St. Mark's on their, uh, in Dawson Creek on their Facebook page for morning prayer with Pastor Don. Some point during the day, and I didn't see Father Wilfred's today, I've been busy and didn't connect with it, but I'll go look for that next and post it to the face, our Facebook page. Uh, but somewhere on the Bulkley Valley Facebook group, he leaves uh, a devotional for us. Uh, to, to give us something to ponder over. And at 12.15 tomorrow, our summer intern will be uh, leading us in midday prayer on the uh, St. Andrew's Cathedral Facebook group, and I will link that across to this page as well. God willing, I will be back tomorrow evening at 9 p.m. and, and be trying to lead us in a service of Compline. I pray that you have a most peaceful night and a joy-filled day tomorrow. Nighty night.